Hi and welcome to the tutorial on how to use the Lightly platform. So what you're going to do today is take a simple data set, upload it to the cloud platform and analyze it, reduce some of the samples and then download it again to train a model. I will start now with showing quickly the data set. I have prepared it here in a folder. Uh, we have here a bunch of images. Um, those are images from pizzas. I can show you them a bit better here. I think we have 100, roughly 170 images. So what I will do is here on the right side, I'm already in the platform. So what you will see is the very first time is uh, the home screen. Just jump over to my data sets and create a new one. I will call this the pizza data set. Once created, we can just go to our uh, images. We can select all of them. We can also just drag and drop the whole folder. That should both work and uh, drag them here to this uh, area. Now I will click to upload the data set. Uh, what will happen now in the background is that the browser will upload the individual images and they will be processed. So metadata will be extracted. This all runs in the backend. And once this is done, we can start um, having a look at the data set. At the same time, I will already start my uh, Jupyter Notebook um, that you will actually use to train the model in the end. Provide you with a notebook which is already here. Um, basically, you will find the instructions of this tutorial also here in written form and you can go through it. Let's check whether this has been uploaded already. It looks good. So let's click on OK. Here you see 170 images. We have all of them up. We can just query through a bunch of them, see what we actually have. As you see, we have two categories, I think uh, margarita and salami pizza. We will now have a look at the histogram filtering. It's some very simple primitive filtering method, which we can use to go through metadata uh, of those images, like for example, the aspect ratio like whether the images are in a more like portrait kind of mode because the aspect ratio is the width divided by the height. So a lower number means we have a kind of portrait mode picture. And you see, as I drag this slider here, I removed the, the one with a very low aspect ratio. I can do the same for the higher ones. So let me also get rid of those guys. Um, I also want to remove the very, very large images and also discard some of the super small ones just to make sure that we can actually train a model on this. Uh, maybe here a few as well. And I will give this a new tag. We'll call this correct size. And once I hit enter, we created this new tag. Uh, tag is like a commit or so on GitHub. Just think about it that way. We can also switch back and forth. Um, what you can do now is go over to download. You will see that actually the numbers here change when I change my tag. So if I work with the initial tag, I will just download the initial data set. Uh, I will not do any have any savings because I don't re reduce any of the samples. Um, really nice is also that you get information about the mean standard deviation you can use for normalizing the, the data set when you do uh, um, the pre-processing for data. Now we will not download the whole data set, but the, the one with the correct size. Uh, if I click here on download images, it will create a zip folder and download it to my machine. Uh, this works quite well here. I have then the images. Let me copy them to my other folder. Exactly, so here I had the pizza images. Let me create a new folder. Um, this is the, the curated one. And let me just drag and drop all of them into here. Those are the 99 images. Um, what we will do here is I will just quickly open a new terminal because I want to move those images um, into a new folder. Because as you see, we have the images um, they have a prefix, whether there's a salami or margarita image. Let me just use this to create two 
uh, two folders, one margarita and one salami. Um, like this. And like this. So now we have split out the data set. So now that we downloaded the data set, uh, we can go back to the Jupyter Notebook. And we can just um, go through the, the notebook and execute the cells. You can just um, select one of them and run it, or as I do it, press and hold shift key and press enter, and it will execute the cells. Now, because I'm using a MacBook, which is not the perfect machine to train a deep learning model on, I will reduce the batch size and also reduce the, the image resolution. I will, I will go for 112, uh, so I will basically half the width and the height of the images. And here we need to change the folder of the input folder. So we will use the curated folder. Uh, here you see the split of train test, which seems to work fine. Um, use PyTorch Lightning for training the model, um, which is quite convenient for us. We used uh, FastAI before. But as we figured out with some with the latest version, we had some issues. So we decided to switch to PyTorch Lightning because we're also using it for our um, self-supervised learning li uh, library. And therefore it's it's uh, just much more convenient for us. And it's very close to PyTorch. So there are not too many uh, differences. And yes, as you see, uh, model gets trained, accuracy goes up slowly. Um, I hope you got an idea on how how you can use the, the platform to create data set, download it, and train a model.